Today in the crypto space, we see the market nice and green. Bitcoin getting a nice bounce to the upside and Ethereum up approximately 2%. The rest of the crypto space, of course, we have some good gainers. Solana looking really, really strong. Another bounce to the upside and Polkadot, near Protocol and many, many more. In today's video, I want to talk about the general market. I want to use Bitcoin as a leading indicator. But more importantly, I want to talk to you about one altcoin, one ecosystem that could be looking for a nice bounce to the upside after a decent retracement. And that project is called Radix. So you know what? Let's talk about the news let's analyze the charts and let's strategize to capitalize welcome to the channel my name is mike and let's get right into it guys if you're new to the channel welcome welcome on the channel we talk about cryptocurrency bitcoin ethereum and all the altcoins looking for opportunities whether we go up or down bearish or bullish it doesn't matter all we want to do is stay one step ahead of the market so that we can capitalize on any of the volatility and if you appreciate that strategy subscribe to the channel click that bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos including the live streams at 7 30 eastern where we talk about crypto news and price action guys if you have any projects you want me to cover on the channel feel free to let me know in the comment section below you can hit me up on those socials the links are in the description and of course guys join the discord the discord is where it's at lots of good alpha trade setups fundamentals and learning material all right guys let's begin let's see what's going on here with the general market first then we'll take a look at bitcoin to see what it's doing overall as a leading indicator and then of course today is about radix i want to take a look at radix now of course it is a larger cap i'm used to looking at these lower cap altcoins but we got to make sure that we're we are diverse we got to make sure that we have a diversified portfolio and especially start looking for those entries where they're at the bottom bottom at, of the range right xrd is definitely one of those uh projects that are just hovering around that risk to reward ratio that is definitely good it's a nice sweet spot so we'll def definitely take a look at that but before we begin let's take a look at this general market so that we can uh, see what's going on bnb getting that run to the upside solana guys solana what's going on with soul soul is still running 93 dollars for solana solana is back at 100 dollars, guys great stuff for soul its ecosystem and its comeback definitely great stuff there for soul if you're a holder definitely congratulations xrp doing its thing going sideways and if we keep on going down we have avax still looking good and still nicely grinding to the upside Polkadot finally waking up, guys. Polkadot, in my book, honestly, very underperforming. It underperforming all around. Even in the previous bull run, to be honest, I didn't really like what it was up to. So ultimately, uh, Polkadot, it's very nice to see it wake up, up, up approximately 19, 18% for today. Really, really, really good overall. Chainlink, 5%, not bad to see it wake up and get a nice bounce off of this horizontal. What else do we have? Matic, not doing so well lately, but you never know, could wake up any moment now. It's still up 4%, give or take. And if if you keep on going down you can see that there's a lot of altcoins still going sideways guys there's still a lot of alts that haven't really got their bounce so you know what it's still not a bad opportunity to consider looking for those right uh near protocol waking up to get today 24 and a half percent you guys know about me and near protocol i do like near protocol and i have been scaling in little by little for the last while and finally to see my spot positions running is very very nice right of course getting at the bottom is the way to do it and sometimes you got to be very very patient so near protocol definitely running i'm happy about that one uh what else do we have injective you know yesterday we talked about injective a little bit and injective does look like it may be looking for a cool off period i'm not getting bearish here i'm just saying like look if it goes sideways great maybe a bull flag another impulsive move to the upside very possible but ultimately injective inj has been on the tear for so long that it would be absolutely healthy for a bit of a retracement in the short term and then obviously continue to the upside for the bull run right so injective really really good ecosystem definitely up and coming i've been scaling into some of the meme coins on the injective um you know uh, um network or um ecosystem which is pretty fun of course but uh, you know the overall ecosystem is growing that's an indication of growth all of a sudden now we have a diversified um you know um, portfolio of assets being built on the ecosystem which is good 
including memes. So that's a good thing. Um, we have OKB going sideways. We have Monero kind of still within range. HR, uh, sorry, H bar, Hedera Hashgraph doing really good again. Another day of green up 11%. I expected this run and it's going at it very slow and steadily until it's not. So guys, this is the thing, guys. I'm going to be taking uh, um, a very, very uh, keen approach to, you know, taking profits uh, with H bar. But at this end of the day, guys, the entries that we got into were super, super good. I'm really happy with the entries. And all of a sudden now we're up approximately 11%, which is good. Nice and steady. That's what I prefer. Um, we keep on going down. We have Filecoin. We have v VeChain kind of not doing much lately. Caspa still kind of grinding away there. Not doing much. OP Optimism, 12% looking healthy. And then we go on Algorand finally waking up. Another one that I've been rooting for is Algo. All these layer ones. Uh, EGLD doing okay. Still within range. Getting rejected at the tops. Thorchain Rune, unfortunately, looks a little bit, you know, like a little weak here, down 10%, and so does Render, ultimately. But uh, they both have been really, really good in the last little while, so again taking a break um is a definitely um you know something to expect after a solid run to the upside phantom waking up so all the layer ones the, the blue chips the larger caps whatever you want to call them they're finally waking up here guys we're getting some green price action and this could be this indication that we're getting an altcoin season where we're going from large caps to mid caps to low caps to you know micro caps to meme coins to you know nfts who knows how low we're going to go here um, and then ultimately um continue seeing the distribution of capital and flow from the top to the bottom and that's what we've been seeing lately so let's see if this continues to see a nice altcoin season theta network up approximately six percent not bad not bad to see theta kind of wake up a little bit helium is coming down but the helium along with solana has been on a tear so helium coming down a little bit is okay and we see the rest of the market pretty much doing the same thing slightly higher highs or going sideways so guys overall consensus as you can see it the market is still okay we're still in a very healthy state i wouldn't be worrying about short-term pullbacks i'll be looking at major structural breaks to the downside and then maybe get into a bearish position but as of now it's all about being defensive that's all it is it's not about taking profits or exiting positions or or entering shorts it's about getting defensive if we see negativity you know at least have a trailing stop loss right in the, uh, underneath the price action to hold up you know basically to make ensure that you walk away profitable take a bit off profits after every impulsive move 10 percent small just small exits you're not exiting your full position because ultimately we could see the altcoins run we could see an altcoin season up and coming okay so so we're going to take a look at the Bitcoin dominance tonight live at 730 Eastern. And of course, there's a lot of projects that we got to come up with. And there, that is a great time and place for you to make those requests. All right, guys, I know you're here to talk about charts. Let's begin. Let's look at Bitcoin. What's going on here with Bitcoin? Still going sideways, guys. I expected sideways price action here for Bitcoin. And this would give us that room to grow, right? As far as altcoins go. Altcoins are definitely taking full advantage of Bitcoin going sideways. And so are we. Here on the channel, we've been focusing on altcoins. Large caps, mid caps, low caps, even the micro caps, even meme coins. But at the end of the day, guys, we have to anticipate that the party could be over very soon. Especially when we see Bitcoin exit this potential distribution and start rolling over. Over. that's why i always say get defensive have a plan be ready for that scenario because the market's gonna want to take those gains back so let's look at this in a little bit more detail at the end of the day what i'm really expecting is bitcoin maybe to get into a nice distribution it's some sort of m pattern some sort of distribution maybe wake off distribution pattern right around this zone now we could come up a little bit higher it's very very possible and of course see some wicks to the downside people selling off and then coming right back up and then selling off again and this is probably um, what we might be seeing in the the next little while if that happens expect sideways price action and expect altcoins to run nice and healthily and that of course is what we've been expecting for the next little while let's look at this from a bigger um, picture you can see that bitcoin at the end of the day is still looking healthy it's still fine right nothing has changed we came down and we went right back up we have a bullish basically engulfing candle as of now we might close this weekly candle you know in a few days and see this um you know look pretty good um if it breaks above and ho and closes above even better but at the end of the day here guys you know bitcoin is up uh, over 180 percent from its bottom so for me i'm not really interested in getting into bitcoin but you can see how bitcoin is at least is holding up its position to the upside and still looking semi-bullish right ultimately the bearish divergences are there so we got to anticipate a rollover in the media short term 
term. That's why no fresh longs for me, guys. But you can see higher highs on the price action. And if you look at the RSI, you know, downward sloping like this, that's class A bearish divergence that we have to entertain. We cannot ignore it, that it's possible. Now, it is also possible to get another drive to the upside with a triple drive of bearish divergence here and see the MACD also give us some indication that, you know, we're rolling over. So far, like I said, we could get another drive to the upside while still maintaining the bearish divergence. That's a sign of a strong uptrend. Okay, so pretty good here for Bitcoin. Now let's move on. Today's video is all about Radix. XRD is the ticker. Why did I choose to talk about Radix today? Now it's not a, a project that is getting a lot of hype. You know, some of the individuals on socials um, are definitely talk. We're talking about it. Those influencers were talking about it. It is a great ecosystem. I think that it's doing the right thing, working on its back end. What I mean by that is it's working on, the team is working on supporting developers. Why? Because they understand that developers are the ones that create an ecosystem. With an ecosystem, you have utility. With utility, you have token utility that basically brings the value of the token up. And ultimately, that's what brings in gains. So ultimately, what they're really, really doing here is trying to pump the price with its fundamentals. And for me, that's bullish. That is amazing that's what exactly what we should be looking for now from a price action perspective you can see that this price is at the bottom of the range it is holding this diagonal support nicely and it is also somewhat holding this current scenario with this horizontal support at the point of control let's zoom in just a little bit i know my charts could be a little bit messy here guys but bear with me because there's a reason for all this madness you can see that you we have a point of control here uh, you know lots of accumulation lots of tests here but every time we do come down to these zones we make slightly higher lows which is bullish this is what we need okay guys and we can see that even this wick didn't hold up very much this was a liquidity grab we came down and you look at the momentum a nice confirmation not even a lower low on the r on the um rsi you can see that and all of a sudden we're back up and looking like we want to bounce to the upside so we're looking pretty good here on the daily we'll get into the price action a little bit more in a second but you can see that once these ema crosses to the upside and gets into the bullish control zone we could be looking for another impulsive move to the upside which which could be big right let's look at this what what this actually could mean last time we got the nice impulse to the upside was right about here okay and we can see that we're in a downward sloping trend what about if we start looking for a break of structure and come up to this level again we're talking about you know maybe 6.4 cents right around here right this is the biggest area of resistance why because we begin an empty spot we have a huge volume gap right here and then we have a lot of empty volume right above so ultimately this accumulation phases where everybody right now all market participants the majority of the market that is involved here is buying in at this level you can see that right based on the volume profile now what i also do like is that we are at the bottom of the range where the risk to reward ratio is absolutely healthy you know you can knock yourself out and, and, and start scaling in but the reality is um if you're going to look at invalidation it's at these bottoms now it would be nice to see a nice horizontal invalidation you guys know how i like the horizontals the flat horizontals it is a bit of a diagonal of course and if we do come down you can stop yourself out here look at this liquidity grab you can stop yourself at this low or even this low so the safe the safest stop, the safest stop is right here ultimately this low right here and it's not that bad we're not too far away now if you take a percentage move a measurement yeah it's a bit of a dip you're talking about 30 percent but ultimately what you should be looking at is the reward because the re the reward ratio is what's important because if the 30 percent dip is too much for you just reduce your position size you don't have to get into a big bag right so that's that's the way you mitigate risk with scenarios like this where the entries could be a bit iffy right but because the ultimately horizontal support is where where you have to really focus but look Look at these higher lows this is what i really like you know com follow through confirmation back test a higher low this is the bullish scenario guys this w breakout right here could be the breakout where we actually see radix xrd break previous highs so i'm liking the risk to award and if you start zooming out and you start looking at this from a big picture the bears are have an argument and we'll talk about both thesis right now we, the bullish thesis is, is 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 that the reward the risk to reward is absolutely healthy and you can see that in in the lower time frames or even on the daily here we're getting right now a divergence let me show you what i mean here from a bullish perspective you can see that the uh, the price action is slightly um uh, sideways right or downward sloping if you want to consider it but look at the momentum it totally didn't accept this right and we saw that the ema cross on the macd was definitely evident so what we really have to understand is that maybe Maybe this becomes a pivot point to the upside but look at the head and shoulders okay so there is a potential head and shoulders here and if we look at it there's a, sh a small shoulder 
and maybe a head and potentially a shoulder, which, you know, classifies also as a dead cat bounce type of thing where, you know, all of a sudden we got a lot of algorithmic buy orders right around the zone, came back up, got rejected and came right back down to hunt liquidity at the bottom of the range, which ultimately, you know, this is what we really get, uh, head and shoulders formation. If we break the neckline, we start coming down. However, there's one thing that we really need to know. Head and shoulders formations are only bearish when they break the neckline. If they stay above the neckline, what it really is, is that the horizontal or the neckline is acting as support and that's bullish. And ultimately, this is where the bulls are going to want to go and take risk because the risk toward ratio is healthy and because the invalidation can be put very, very clearly and the stop loss can be put very clearly and ultimately mitigating your risk and getting into a, a trade that doesn't have a lot of risk. We're still below that 200 daily EMA, very clear. But all these bottoms right now, all these bottoms that we're looking at right here are very, very good in order to mitigate that risk. Okay, so that's what I'm taking here on the daily. I can, I do a acknowledge the fact that it does look like some sort of complex head and shoulders here um type of thing it's not even the cleanest to be honest so i don't even know if i want to classify it as a head and shoulders but nonetheless if that's the sentiment and that's what you feel fine let's entertain that value and the reality is this diagonal is where it's at this is where we need to hold okay dca 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 now if we get into lower time frames we go in the four hour you can see that we're respecting this little bounce right here we didn't even get oversold uh sorry we didn't we got oversold here bullish divergence let me zoom in so i can show you what i mean what's happening at this level okay look at this this is really nice because ultimately the price action is coming down you can see that and then all of a sudden let's look at the momentum the momentum is going up okay we got a nice follow through to the upside we didn't give we didn't even get overbought on this follow through so let's see how high we could go we could possibly get to about five cents and then potentially get a bit of a rejection and then maybe 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 consolidate in this area for another leg to the upside i really don't think radix is going to fall below this horizontal the reason being is because it didn't it, there was worse events in this market in the last little while that should have caused the price to fall even deeper and it didn't so what's going to happen now to actually make that happen guys ultimately i feel i feel like it right now it's building the most amount of support at this zone and this is the zone that we should be focusing on in the immediate short term all right guys if i've offered you any value in this video you know what you gotta do you gotta slap that like button it does really help out with the algorithm i'm gonna be live tonight at 7 30 eastern taking requests it is a great time and place for you to guys to request some of the projects that you're interested in and i'll put them in top priority if you want to follow me on those socials the links are in the description below feel free to join the discord guys the discord is a great community all right guys take care have a good one and don't forget buy the dip